Hello everyone and welcome to me playing some more automation to BMG Drive auto games. There is now a new open beta for automation, which I'm using for this video, and um, we'll see how good it works. I have waited for the first patch to come, which fix like a page worth of bugs, so uh, we should be mostly fine for now. Um, today we're gonna build a van. This is going to be the last uh, car for the first season. Afterwards, I will be attempting to do the auto game part. That's probably going to take me a few more weeks to get that all set up and working and recorded. I'm probably going to record a lot of them right after each other, just have it all done and then stay at the uploads. And well, next series, we'll see. I'm probably going to wait until this update is fully out for the public branch and then switch to that public branch and then we should be fine and then I'm gonna start the next series but for now let's just start and that's yeah oh beta uh, steel panels and there you go problem fixed with a ladder steel frame maybe galvanized Ooh, that's that's a hard question it's just, nah, not so worth it. And we will be using leaf springs. Because it's a van. You could totally use coils, but like, nah. Leafs front and back. Actually, okay, you know what? Let's just use coils in the front. Now, for the engine. Originally I wanted to go with... Oh right, doesn't even have to... No, my original thought was maybe a V6, but yeah, it doesn't work. So, we're gonna be an inline 4 for now. Using... Honestly, let's just start acting. Or maybe, should we use push rods? Well, these are too much. Yeah, let's, let's use... Let's just start acting overhead cams. And make it out of cast. Um, and this is reliable at higher RPMs. But we don't need to be reliable at higher RPMs, so let's make uh, this. Let's see if that works. Everything cast, perhaps heavy duty if we do need it. Things to do when we can't make this thing for torque. Which means... Well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, no turbo, we'll, it would definitely get one. Uh, the, the vans would definitely get those. With a s s single, honestly, maybe, maybe twin. Don't see a reason to go for a bigger one. This is all we need. Regular lead, it needs to be cheap. Honestly, yeah, let's go with a bit of a richer mixture. Ignition timing is not needed. And also a pretty low RPM limit. We'll then go with a. This is basically a very kind of cheap engine. I was actually used to a reverse because these things are gonna drive around cities and shit and right right uh... interesting so yes we are having problem with the torque and everything well this is a
That's not how engines are supposed to be. A smooth classic design with a blocky classic design, not the default. Also, let's, let's use this one. It seems older. Just so I know what that is. Okay, that's that. Let's use this. What is the valve cover? That is that. Yeah, let's make that black with the valve cover trim being white. The bolts. No, that's that. Bolt should be steel. And the intake manifold, what is that? Still haven't figured it out. Uh, yeah. No idea, just gonna make that black. This doesn't shut off anymore during this, that's something that needs to be addressed. And then that just seems fine. Van, obviously. We'll do fixtures and stuff later. Alright, we also now have this. Which I find really cool. You can hide it for some reason. Um, yeah. Alright. Um, again, let's go through everything again. Oh. Do I really want to put an automatic? Apparently I do. This is perfect. I mean, sure. Yeah, I chose the right tires. One eight seven. One fifty five. It is. Hey, yeah, just more brakes. Okay, so this is how well, much they want. Sure. Alright, this should directly impact. Which reduces brick fade, yes. No. It's a bit in line, but more quality on the non existent traction aid, which really doesn't do that much. Um, right, paint. That looks hideous, that looks hideous, that looks hideous. 
if these really work, so let's go default with some steel. Just just visible steel panels. Yeah, I guess that might work. With the trim. Chrome. Yeah. I mean look shit, but yeah. The brake calibers just just make those black. Pictures. No, I'm gonna do this, and you'll see the finished car afterwards. Alright, and there we have it. The game. Could you could, could you not? Thank you. The Griffin Hauler. Um I just did what the fuck I what the fuck I wanted. Um Which is the explanation why it looks so shitty. Um But yeah. There is a license plate here, just can't be seen, but it's there. And... Yeah. Of course, the inside is a... Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a van, what do you expect? And around here is our engine, uh, which I'm just gonna... It, can you like, can, can you like not? It just has the fix just lying around. That's weird. Uh, he has the engine. There we go. Uh, the engine. But, you know. Yes, this, that's the bonnet removed. Uh huh. No, um. Obviously, you aren't here to look at. to just look at the car. You are here because you. Well, maybe you are here just to look at the cars, but. I don't know. Look kinda bad, so, like. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, let's just get into VMG Drive and see how it drives. All right, there we are in VMG Drive. It looks just as hideous as in animation. <laughs> well, let's go. That's problem. The automatic trans transmission can't deal with the car that. doesn't get up to speed. I'm going to have to put a manual in here. I'll be right back. Alright, so uh, I have now changed the gearbox to a 4 speed manual. And the top speed is set to 98 because the game liked that the most. Now let's see if this thing actually drives. And it does! Because I've already tested it, so I know. <laughs> and. 
and it's not like dressed badly. You know, it's a delivery van. 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 Delivery van. <laughs> Uh, and, and it drives, you know, how you would expect and Well, I don't know if that's how you'd expect it. I don't know how I would expect it, but... It doesn't drive, doesn't drive bad, and yes, that is when I try to drift earlier. Also, brakes don't work. And here's your... Backwards... Your reverse... Your backwards gear, mm -hmm. Backwards gear, yes. No, uh, the reverse. It's, uh, it's, it's the reverse. You know. Uh, no, 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 let's keep going forward, and, um, let's see how this works. Okay, uh, let's do a drift right here, because we can, and uh, let's inertia drift that. <laughs> that was not inertia drift. Technically, these things are the drift, because the thing is completely rear-wheel drive, so, uh, that's a drift, and uh, that's a spin. Now let's go through the handling circuit, and well, let's first do this jump, and then I'll see you at the handling circuit. Oh, all right, we're at the handling circuit after the game crashed. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Anyways, uh, let's go. Obviously, it doesn't drive all bad. Okay, nope. I take the bad. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think smoke's supposed to come out there, but uh, let's just keep going. Right turn, and use the door to slide into the next turn. And keep. Speed. I mean, so far so good. It's not my favorite out of the bunch of drive, but it's also not my least favorite, the least favorite being the Gen Turismo. Well, I mean, it's also like, the Gen is not my favorite because it's so bad, but like, you know, from actually doing stuff, yeah, obviously Gen is not too bad, but the worst. But, though the... Yeah, I forgot all the names. Well, the, the one with the V16 is probably also, it's definitely also one of the worst ones. The drive. And well, it's also one of my first few cars. So, I think I'm just getting better with the building cars, except if I try to intentionally make a bad car, that being Chad Trismo. So, um, crap wrong me. <laughs> um, but other than that, or rather, getting back to the point, this thing ain't half bad. I was not actually expecting it to uh, either the engine just not to just do not want to work, which I mean kinda is what happened, you know, seeing as I had to change the transmission. Um or what my other thought fear was the car just falling over. And while it does go occasionally Go up onto wheels. Mm, not really any big problems that I can speak of. Now let's make our way to the gravel circuit. And we're at the gravel circuit. So let's do one level of the gravel circle and one level of the off road circuit. And then we will get to the time trial at the end, like always. Oh. Let's just pretend that didn't happen.
That was not that bad. I guess you could call that a gutter run, kinda. Kinda, maybe, sorta. But also, like, no, not because, like, no. I'm sure you can totally use stuff like that for something like a gutter run. Anyways. Um, honestly, doesn't handle off-road too badly, even though it obviously wasn't made for that at all. So it's quite surprising to see it drive really well on off-road. But I guess that could be counted to the leaf springs and the hot long-life tires. And, I don't know, does, does weighing a lot help with off-road grip, I, I guess, because the wheels are pushed for them to the ground. So maybe it isn't a surprise that it handles well on off-road. Also, it doesn't have any problems scaling hills. Well, you know, hills are supposed to be scaled. There's roads on it. It doesn't have any problem with those. Because of all the torque. Honestly, I can I can see this engine like being taken out of this car, given a better exhaust, and then put into something that weighs way less. I I, I can actually see that being a thing that might happen in this universe, <laughs> seeing as it has so much fucking power. Well, not power, but mostly the torque and just low end because it it doesn't rev at all. Now let's do the jump. That wasn't so bad. And let's get back to scaling stuff. Okay. Realistic. First gear. Oh, so much to scaling stuff. Oh wow, it actually didn't make it. Then, let's see if it can make it over the rocks. Am I not getting enough grip? Yeah. So yeah, I was praising it too hard. Probably was. But but still that's still pretty great how far up it made it. So I can imagine this thing not being the f most fun to drive, seeing as you have to shift so often. Anyways, let's get to the main circuit and the time trial. I'll see you there. Ah, oh, right, there we are on the track. Let's go. And we are off to a, you know, standard start. <laughs> let's see if we need to break. No. But we do need to lift off a bit. This thing has honestly not that bad acceleration. For 950s. Probably because it's so low revving and has so much torque. Probably.
yeah, that one doesn't need any any kind of stuff. This one we're gonna be breaking for. No, I figured that turn out. Then let's do Caswell's carousel. Oh boy. Nope, still drives. Oh god, that's what I broke, apparently. Third! The Griffin Hauler 50s is the third. With a time that is almost tight. With the Adam respect. Oh my god. This is gonna be interesting. The Griffin Hauler honestly might have been able to beat the Adam Respect on a second run. If I perhaps did that. The hairpin faster or didn't hit the wall. It could maybe even be faster than be in second place. That is it for this episode. Next episode, or well, between this episode and next episode, whenever that will be. I'm gonna go through and find a bunch of events, write down a bunch of event pos uh, ideas, and see if the vehicles are able to complete those. And if they are, I'm just gonna make a video about it, and we'll see. Probably going to have a, well, not have a friend along, but have a friend do the do the ranking system for me. Uh, because I don't know how many points each place should get, so I'm gonna have a friend uh, do that. That knows a bit more, hopefully, about that. Uh, anyways, that's it for this episode. I will see you all next time. See ya!